can know it um, by me. So, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, señores y señoras, good evening, guten Abend, buenas tardes, buenas noches, konnichiwa, xin chao, ni hao, anjong. Good quilt, good often, dobrovich, dobrovich, shalom, yo eshtet, kiva no, here we go. This is the quarterfinals of tonight's Compito Cup. It is a Compito Cup 28. The price pool tonight is a $50, uh, 50 euros. And some hardware as well, a power supply unit or some headphones. We got Death Angel playing against Driven here. And Death Angel is spawning as the Green Zerg in the bottom left position. We have Draven um, spawning as the Red Product in the top left. It is a ZVP and we are on GSL Taldarim Altar. This is a best of three, so this will be the first map. Um, we got some Icy Cup maps in the mix as well. No Steps of War, no Blistering Sand. So all those maps are out of the tournament, uh, out of the map pool, and replaced by other maps. There we see that Death Angel is going for this uh, fast hatchery already. No, Morrow is uh, here, not in the quarterfinals, not in round six. Uh, um, so, but we got Draven, and he is from Mouse Sports as well, but playing Protoss, not playing Zerg right now. So, there we see um, the spawning pool by Death Angel. So, uh, uh, one thing about Death Angel, um, he is a very, very aggressive Zerg player. He likes to play aggressive. Just most of the time, gets just two or three bases, uh, gets a certain amount of drones where he knows, okay, now I have enough drones to constantly and constantly overproduce uh, units after units after units. And be aggressive with them and concentrate a little bit more on the micro than on the macro. But of course, because of the size of Taldarim Altar, um, it is time to adjust, readjust your um, gameplay. And it is deep. this is what he's doing. We are just at the four minute mark, and he is expanding once again. And uh, double expansion. 4 minute mark, this is pretty ballsy, and I won't think that Driver will scout here uh, for this uh, second expansion there pretty pretty soon, because he just saw the expansion at the natural, uh, he sees the Zerklings hunting the probe right now, he just spotted the main base, and will he go down to this uh, second expansion, and no he will not, he will just move away. So, by the way, uh, for those of you who do, don't know this map that well, a small introduction. So, um, each player, this is a four-player map, um, each player, each spawning location is in each corner of the map. So, we got the bottom um, left, we got the top left, the top right, the bottom right. Then you got your natural expansion here, for example, for the Protoss player. Um, there's a pretty wide open choke, but as soon as you can control this, um, or... Uh, you do not have to even control this, you just have to control the ramp. Um, then you can go for an expansion here, but there's a re uh, you have to watch out, there's another backdoor entrance. But uh, being on uh, two or three um, bases is not that hard to, to hold, for example, compared to Metalopolis or um, Zelnaga Kevins. Um, nice job by Death Angel um, surrounding a zealot here. Draven is a force to run back, but he's not yet doing it, still more Zerklings are there, and because of the fact that Death Angel uh, went for this fast expansion here, he does not have enough gas yet to go for the metabolic boost, so he does not have enough gas to go for the speed, but he might be able to go for a small surround here, at least for one stock, and no, Draven was able to get out there just in time. And, um, I mean, he's got quite a lot of kills on the stalkers. Um, 10 kills in total, units lost is telling us, yes, uh, 12 units lost compared to 1 units lost. This is looking good for Draven, but of course he does not know about this expansion. There's the queen already there, and now if Death Angel begins to inject some lava on all of those bases, he will be able to do quite some damage. Meanwhile, what is Draven doing? He is going for some Stargate play. We have some Phoenixes in production. First Phoenix is finished, second Phoenix is being finished pretty soon. Third Phoenix already queued up there, and now Death Angel needs to do two things. He needs to drone up, he needs to layer up, 
and he needs to actually um, um, connect all those bases. We see the main and the natural will be uh, connected pretty soon. The uh, second and the third base will be protected, uh, connected in about um, one minute there as well. There, uh, Draven is a currently controlling the Selnaga watchtower so he knows about those Zerklings coming in. Now the Zerklings realize, okay, I need to check the Selnaga watchtower by the way. So now he did this. Um, meanwhile Draven is slowly pushing forward, going here with a the forge, there with a the gateway and now he's only not just yet starting his gateway, nice force fields, preventing those Zerklings from doing too much damage. Now he's only starting this Nexus and um, we are 9 minutes in the game, this Nexus is just going to start. So in about at the 10 minute mark this base will be finished, but then um, Death Angel, look how many drones he already got on his third base. There he's going for the Spire, there are the Phoenixes coming in right now, one Queen is there at the natural, it will get uh, killed pretty pretty fast here. And Evolution Chamber coming up right away um, for Death Angel, he's got another Queen in production, now those Phoenixes trying to do some damage here to the Overlords, another Queen is there getting lifted up right away. He does does not have enough energy for a transfusion. Which uh, phoenix is he attacking? He's attacking another phoenix with full HP still, so losing one queen after another, but he still got more queens in production. Now going for some swarm crawlers here in the main and the natural in each base. This is what he needs to do. I mean, because of the fact that he's on this uh, third base uh, for quite a long time, he will be able to do quite some damage. Um, he, he, he not quite some damage but he will be able to macro up but uh, Draven is just doing a good job over and over again with his Phoenix is currently at 9 kills, 11 kills in total. There are some um, Zerklings pulling back, maybe he's just checking for more Zelnaga Watchtower. Maybe um, the right response for Death Angel might be just to go for another expansion but um, looks like this might not be the case and this queen position was not the best because yes now this warp border is not in range and so those phoenixes could do some more damage is he aware of this spire right now yes he is and do we see some corruptors in production no actually that angel decides to go for some utilists so draven still just only using his four phoenixes just to kill more and more stuff and l l take a look at units lost he only lost two units compared to 31 uh, which is quite a big thing. Now he of course knows that Death Angel got this expansion. Death Angel not yet expanding here for example to the 6 o'clock and um, still on three bases. The harvest account is currently telling us Death Angel is still in the lead quite a lot. 18 harvesters is absolutely something but Raven was meanwhile able to take up quite a lot himself as well. He's got the High Templar tech up and running, he's got the, uh, this storm already finished. Does he have the Kadarian Amulet? No, it just started, but um, it will be finished pretty pretty soon because Kadarian Amulet only takes 110 seconds and then you just can um, subtract here some um, time because of the chrono boost. Now Draven is moving out, wants to secure his second expansion, his third base. Death Angel is moving in with some Zerklings here. Probe survives in the last second and he should go for an expansion there pretty pretty soon. And it's really time for Death Angel to expand even once again because uh, as soon as the hatchery goes up there's nothing phoenixes can do about it. Now Death Angel got quite a lot of muters here and if you get a really much more bigger amount of muters then the Protoss players got the phoenixes out. You can actually hunt those units away but now he needs to be careful. Here are the cannons, here are the stalkers and there are the high tempers with the psionic storm as well so Continuing to go for the mass muters might be a very uh, risky choice. Now he's expanding once again to the 6 o'clock. I would like him to get, get um, some roaches out, just um, trying to be a little bit more annoying than just having the um, muters. There we saw uh, two high tempers um, storming a little bit, not doing too much damage, but now this third storm was really, really good in addition to the phoenix. All the muters were down and nice force placed here on the ground as well because um, 
of those uh, speed links running in. So very um, good play here by Draven. Uh, for example, those five kills on the Arkan are mostly mutilous right now. And if you see a newly merged Arkan uh, already having them some kills, it is um, the kills of each High Templar before the merge added up already. So this hatchery will be finished in 14 seconds. I'm not yet going for another expansion. Harvest account is telling us 76 drones here uh, for Death Angel, 67 probes for Driven. And the supply is pretty much the same. Death Angel in a small lead here. Now he's having more Mutas uh, trying to force a council here on this Photon Cannon. Photon Cannon gets rebuilt absolutely immediately. Draven doing an absolutely wonderful job having the right units, having the uh, right mix of units and what else he is doing is he's just protecting and he's keeping his bases safe. He's got some high templars here at each mineral line so he's able to um, be safe against the mutilist harassment and now it is time for Death Angel to realize okay there's nothing else he can do with a mutilist. Maybe he should go for the hive tech some ultralist because he's got a good enough economy to um, have a really really good um, ultra count out as fast as possible because yes there are currently no immortals um, ultra draven draven only just getting his first immortal and just imagine uh, some infestors uh, with the ultralist the, how they could uh, do a wonders here against especially all those stalkers um, those high templars of course size storms and zealots not the best units um, against ultralists here so now he's just flying away uh, with his um, mutas of of course trying to run away from the Arkan because of the Arkan dealing splash damage and doing additional damage against biological 39 compared to 28 is quite a big difference so uh, he's nearly fully saturated his 6 o'clock natural expansion now he's adding some roaches in the mix he's got the plus one uh, for the melee units attack and the ground armor upgrades a level finished um, already so the supply currently is um, mixed out death angel against 170 supply uh, Dragon is just uh, moving around with a small protoss ball but this protoss ball is pretty pretty deadly now uh, forcing another merge here with the high templars uh, with this mutus and she's just keeping draven busy meanwhile he's just getting out more stuff he is currently mixed so now it is time for death angel just to macro up um, just to upgrade up get more lava stockpiled and just be able to as soon as all his uh, forces are down get new forces up as fast as possible and Draven only got one immortal here and with this only one immortal the roaches might be able to do quite some damage assuming they are microed correctly and looks like Draven wants to go for the six o'clock there's just one spine crawler this one queen and the spore crawler there to hold this units off and looks like Death Angel now going for a counter attack here from the back taking out a lot of those zealots a nice uh, size I'm not doing too much at all. What about those remaining Templars? Still have enough energy for three more uh, Psy Storms, but this is actually a lot of lot of roaches. But the second and the third Psy Storm was so well placed that all the high Templars are down and the Stalkers are now realizing, okay, there's nothing else I can do. So, Death Angel was able to hold this to take off at the space here. So it's still a um, four base space, uh, four base Zerg against a four base Protoss because the Draven now just finished with his Nexus here at the 12th uh, going for three more cannons, getting two assimilators up and uh, looks like Death Angel after how will he be able to pick up those high templars and those high templars uh, seeing okay they are in a lot of trouble so just uh, why not get some size storms out as so fast as possible and death angel not having the borrower uh, because just imagine all those roaches borrow for five seconds they would all be healed up but because of the uh, psionic storms they took quite a lot of damage so now uh, death angel is the one ne who needs to pull back let's take a look at the upgrades we got the plus two uh, for dragon Draven uh, with uh, only attack, no armor, no shield upgrades. On the other hand, what's up with Death Angel? He got the plus two armor finished pretty soon, even going for the plus two um, missile attacks uh, for the, um, f uh, not missile attacks, uh, flyer attacks for the flying units. And Draven is moving out with a probe to 